thingy. Okay, there we go. We are live. Hi, ah. everybody. Linda Good here. Good morning, the world. Good well, morning, it's not, world. It's not morning. It's afternoon here. Well, yeah, afternoon. Well, maybe somebody's coming in. Hello, everybody. Today I'm going to try to do a watercolor painting from a lavender. La la lavender. What, what was it again, Pin? Lavender. Lavender. Hmm. Lavender. Oh, wait. I can all get a new. Hold potentially inappropriate message to review. Not now. Okay. Shall I wait for a bit or shall I just start? What do you think? Well, it's entirely up to you, my dear. Oh, there's one watching. Is that you? That's probably me. <laughs> I've, just clicked. I've clicked on. You clicked on? Yeah, to watch. Hmm. That's more than likely me at the minute. Hooray. Well, I'm just going in, guys. I'm just going in. It's a flower pot with love. Oh my god, why did I choose this pin? Um, I don't know. Because you like to stretch yourself. What? You like to stretch yourself. Yeah, true. going wet on dry with this one because this is a new kind of watercolor paper oops sorry all these watercolor uh, descriptive techniques which I'm only just learning wet on dry that's a dry piece of paper with a lot of wet paint yeah So, when you were on your break today, mm -hmm. what were you watching on TV? Zoo. What's that? Well, uh, kind of cheesy uh, TV show. Mm -hmm. And it's about animals going wild and attacking people and, Ooh. Ooh, you know. Ooh. And the world goes down. And... What about you? Um, well, I haven't had my break yet, so mm. I've been here since this morning and just playing around. I've not always been here, though. I've been, uh, uh, I went off and did a bit of grocery shopping and came back and then cleaned the kitchen and then came back and really I should do the bathroom next, but oh, I can't be bothered at the moment. I want to just... You were just hanging out? Do my thing. Your thing. Yeah. So that's it. Nothing hmm. special. Hmm. Nice lazy Sunday. And uh, supposed to be preparing myself for Monday. Yeah. I hate that though. I really hate doing that. Can you put your side, your speakers a little bit down, Penny? I hear myself. Um. Sure. I can try. Uh, okay, speak for me. Yeah, hello. Okay, I can hear you a bit better. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can, can hear you. Can you hear yourself? No, not yet. <laughs> okay. You know, there's the thing, normally it comes, it kicks in a little bit later. It's like, oh my gosh, why? Yeah. But there's nobody who can tell us if the sound is all right or not. So. Just let's go for it, you know? Yeah. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> let's go for it, girl! Yoo-hoo! Yee-haw! <coughs> and if you think I'm a professional <laughs> art colorist, I'm not. I'm just fiddling, you know. Well, I know that. <laughs> 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 I know, we 
saying. But you do do some really good stuff on your watercolour these days. You've really kind of got the knack of it. I think that's your medium watercolour. You think? I think so. I think it's becoming your medium of choice. Yeah, maybe. I think it's becoming a skill that you've learnt over how many months? Not that long. Less than a year, I don't know. Wow. You're heading in the right direction, don't you feel? Mm. Sometimes, and sometimes I really don't know what I'm doing, and it's like, what the hell am I doing? This is wrong. And then I just stretch it, you know. But I think all artists are like that. They must go through a hundred pictures and paintings before oh, they yeah. find one that is going to work for them. Yeah, I'm telling Everything's you. an experiment, isn't it, with art, anyway? Because you can never recreate something unless no. it's digital and you just print it yeah. off a million times. But hey, we did a digital, we're done with that, right? Yeah. Well, I'm not sure if I'm done with it, by the way. What, digital art? Yeah. Yeah, me too. I quite like, I, I, I loved the Photoshop stuff when I was doing Photoshop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. Sometimes I have like, oh, I want to make a model, you know, like, oh, yeah, cool. And then you're like, ugh. But then I, 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 I like the idea of it, but I want to incorporate it in something messy. Do you know what I mean? Oh yeah, I know what you mean. You want to get your hands dirty, and you can't really do that with digital stuff, can you? Unless you're making something that you're going to print digitally. Mm -hmm. So, I think there is a. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying really. <laughs> I'm too busy. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know. I don't know. I think I keep the the ribbon the same earthy tone colors. Yeah. Is lavender always purple, by the way? Do you know? The what? Lavender, is it always purple? Well, it's kind of blue. Bluish purplish, yeah? Yeah. Always? I don't think you get like yellow lavender or anything like that. Yeah, or I don't know. Lavender. I'm sort of asking. I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's it's shades and hues of purples and blues. Mm hmm. I don't know. <sighs> but you could sci-fi yours. And go for like a bright <laughs> green or a bright orange or something. Uh, I could do that, but I won't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that's kind of a thing. I've got it really hard to make something um, sci-fi or not real. Mm -hmm. well, not, it's not hard or something, but... um. I don't know how to do it. I think that's it. <clears throat> I might finally use my embossing powders on this stuff that I'm doing at the moment. Oh, oh how's that going with that? Finally. With the new heat gun. Mm, I love it. Yeah, it's working good for you. Yeah, good old Timmy Holtz. <laughs> good old Timmy. Good old Timmy. Gotta love Timmy. Yeah, it's it's uh it's nice to have a heat gun back rather yeah. than a hair dryer. Uh huh. I have to say. And the Timmy Holtz one is um quite, quite. silent, isn't it? So Oh yeah. I think it's getting a bit noisier. I think yours did as well, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, mine that did. To me. I'm, I'm noticing the noise a bit more on it, but I don't know if that's just me, because I'm just yeah. getting used to the octave of the uh, new dryer, because well, compared I've... to a hair dryer, it's, it's blooming good, but... I had the same. Is it me or is it the dryer? I don't know. Weird, huh? Yeah. 
So I'm going to put it on, and you can tell me, right? What do you no, think of that? Oh, it's way quieter than mine. Still nice and quiet. Yeah. Cool. Timmy, we got, got a big audience, Penny. Two people, yay! Huh? We got two people watching. Oh. Can you see what I'm doing, by the way? Yes. Okay. Because I'm trying to stay on frame, but that's, for me, that's really hard. Well, I can see you better on the Skype video than I can on the YouTube video. You need to come up on the YouTube video oh. a bit because you're off camera. <coughs> and see mostly you're painting rather than you're painting on YouTube. <laughs> what? <laughs> on your YouTube. On oh, YouTube, yeah. Bring, bring your uh, picture more in the center. Like this, I think. <clears throat> you need to go up a bit <clears throat> because at the moment I can see mostly you're painting. And not your artwork. Oh. Yes, that's a bit better. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. But for me, it's not comfortable painting. So I should do something about my camera setup. Mm. Are you stretching a bit? Yeah. Yeah. That's the bummer, isn't it, with videos? And cameras and all that kind of yeah, thing. Well, I can I can attach it to my desk, but then every move, if my desk shakes, the camera shakes as well. Oh, that would be no good if you're using a hammer mm. or on a bottle cap or something. Well, I'm not hammering, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not no hammering hammer like you. Do, 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 do. <coughs> This is a messy plant, Penny. Yes. I like lavender. Yeah, me too. I do remember that I had it in my garden. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, you know what? It was, it was in the 80s, you know? You, you picked it off and then you hang it up for drying. Did you do the same in England, by the way? Well, people do, but I never. <laughs> <laughs> well, other I... people do. There's other other wonderful people, not me. And you just bought it. Yeah, <laughs> but I do. I do. Um, I always get um, the foliage of lavender and rosemary quite confused. Oh, why is that? And I don't know because the foliage is, I feel, is quite similar. Ooh. And sometimes shower. I get confused with it all. But I like, I like rosemary too. Uh-huh. And uh, I like the smell of rosemary as much as I like the smell of the real lavender. I don't like artificial lavender smell, but I do like the real plant smell. Oh, what you know, I was sometimes saying. They, they make artificial, oh, I don't know what it is, like lavender soap powder for your washing machine and things. And, oh, yeah, yeah, And yeah. I never really like that smell. Hmm. Or... Lavender air freshener, or you know, I don't know, something like that. But it never smells quite like the same. It just smells no. more chemical, and I don't like that. I do remember that I always hated the, the citron in. Oh, even. Auntie! Oh, Auntie! I'm okay. You don't have to Thank type. She can. You. She can hear you, There's my dear. Auntie. She can hear you. <laughs> How's the sound, Becky? Is it a little bit okay-ish? <coughs> oh. oh, excuse me, I'm in a bit of a cough. <coughs> oh dear, something went down. Is the excitement? It was it's the excitement. It's the excitement. Oh. Oh. There's a hair in my palate. Ew. How are you, Auntie? Yeah, it's feeling a little better. A little bit better. Oh man, there's a hair. Pin. Yeah. 
The whole world can hear you. You don't have to type. I'm typing to auntie. Yeah, but she can hear you. I know, but that's like a, that's like five <laughs> milliseconds away. Oh, wow. Or something, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You're just confused. Yeah, You're all delay, retarded chick. Delay. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, I wanted to speak to auntie because I've missed, quite missed her, actually. Did you see Scottish video in his um, nickel, what was it again? In his garage with all these machines? No. Oh, you missed something. He's got a few machines. It's so cute. He had so many machines going on. It's like, oh my goodness. <sighs> Is he... Um is um scott a little bit like um oh barb owen's husband that does all those oh um, yeah yeah wood crafting and oh no no knocking no. wood together and all of that kind of stuff no he can repair anything does he have a a, a talent in the i don't know what you call it handyman range yeah Because, to be honest, I've never, I tend to, tend to date the arty creative types, not the handy types. And it's kind of like not really very useful. Oh, I, I oh want yeah, oh yeah, Becky, I'm, I'm so I sorry wanted. on the Facebook, I, I didn't even think about it. So please forget it, I'm really sorry that I said that because... I know you don't want to hear that kind of crap, but um, sorry. That's why I don't need to go to Facebook, you know. I'm, I'm posting and not even thinking. And what's posted is posted, you know. So I'm sorry for that, Becky. Okay, thank you. Phew, I was a little bit worried there. Okay, this new paper is not really lifting. Have you sold your house, Becky? Oh, sorry, I'm moving away from the medical shit. Good. <laughs> I didn't mean to, because obviously that's something you all need to talk about. On camera, it looks pretty okay, this spot. <laughs> <laughs> but in real, it's not so great. Is it a brown pot or a grey pot? No, oh, there we go. <laughs> it's a brown. It's terracotta brownish. No, ah, it's not even. I thought you were doing a tin, a tin pot at first. No. Like a bucket. No pot. We never suffered yes. these health problems when we were young. When Why we were young, it, we didn't have so, health problems. It's so ageist health, isn't it? Yeah, you know, when I was I young, when I was young, I was never like, oh, do we have health problems again? And, blah, blah, blah. and now I've got it myself. It's like, oh yeah, <laughs> that's crap. Yeah, and you have an, you have these. Um, or I used to have. Mm -hmm. I think most of, most have passed away now. But these are aunties with bad hips and. Um, we will get. We will get there. Don't worry. Know, like, you know all of the things, and it's like you take that for granted as a kid. Yeah. You never think that's going to happen to you. That's just the other people, and then suddenly yeah. you you approach fifty, and it starts to change. <laughs> it started to change. <laughs> <laughs> And before you know it, you are. You are that person. I hate that. This is so ageist, this health yeah. thing. Yes. We need, Should we we need to get as much as we can for this house. And the houses are more expensive where we are selling to. Yeah, houses are expensive. Over here, they are still expensive. Too expensive 
for the young people. And I think London is totally out of control. Right, Pen? <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to sell a house at the moment. It hasn't quite gone through. But we had to lower the price considerably. Mind you, the whole bloody thing's falling down, so it's hardly surprising. Yeah. Massive piece of land, though, for England, that is. For America, it's, it's like a shoebox. But... <laughs> yeah, 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 totally. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a shoebox size, but yeah. for England, it's kind of like, ooh. This looks promising. And then you go in the house and you think, oh my God, look at all the work that needs doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but if you see all this out, including bigger house, it's like, oh my God, it's so gorgeous and big. And One room could fit into the whole of my flat. Yeah, yeah, totally, <laughs> totally. <laughs> oh my God, I love, I'd love to live in America. Yeah, and then I see I see the cottage nice. of Becky, and then I think, oh my god, I so could live there, you know, with a few cats, and I would be happy. And oh man, I don't need any more. And the distance between the houses is something that I really oh, yeah. like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, in London, obviously everything's terraced, so everything's joined to the next one, because it's roads and streets of housing it's it's not like individual houses or very few individual houses in london so it's all rows and streets so they're all joined up together mm -hmm. there's no hard gardens all gardens have been turned into driveways so they've got somewhere to park the car if if they've even got a garden mm -hmm. and uh yeah it's just such it's so built up I don't know. It's congested. What's wrong with this brush? Oh, that sounds great, Becky. Oh, if you're looking for land, Becky, are you thinking of building your own? If you're looking for the land, is this something like a, you're going to build something that you would like, or you're 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 looking for a house, an actual already built house that you could maybe develop or whatever. It looks a little bit darkish. Hmm. It's starting to come together, Lindy. Yeah, but this one is a little bit dark. But you know, that's nature. <coughs> mm -hmm. What a bad excuse, man. You can always go in with some water and wash it out. No, yeah, that makes it. A round Dell Tech home on it. What? On it, but we would gladly take on another older home. What's a round Dell Tech home? Yeah. Becky's saying if we get land, we will have a round Dell Tech home on it, but we would gladly take on another older home. And what kind of? But what's a round Dell Tech home? Dell Tech. Is that like one of those pre packed things that you get in Germany? Germany and Sweden, like Ikea. <laughs> like an Ikea house. Oh, an Ikea house. That's new. The Germany's are really good at that, and they come out wonderful, though. Oh, yeah. And Because they're all prefabricated pre sheets mm -hmm. that you can design yourself in a laboratory or wherever they do it. Oh. Dell Techs are round houses that are built using panels, but they're round. It's like a yurt. Like like a like a, like a yurt. I have yurt. no idea what that is. A Deltic roundhouse. Do you know what a yurt to... is then? A yurt. Yeah. Is that like a teepee? Yeah, but then round. But in a in a modern day world, what's a Deltic? I'm gonna have to do some research. Definitely after this video, I'm gonna have a look at that. 
because I've not heard of that. Yeah, like a stock plan thing. Is Dell Tech a, an American company or is it like one of these German, European things, IKEA things? <laughs> Penny. You can't say IKEA. It's like a yurt, but with permanent walls and insulation. Oh, see? Mm -hmm. Will that be big enough for you and your family, Becky? Or do you, do you join all of the do you join all of the yurts together so they have like horrid, like a little links to each yurt or something? That'd be cute, wouldn't it? Like a hobbit home. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, <laughs> hobbit home. For so, real. So Dell Tech is in Asheville, North Carolina. Mm. Are they like a teepee, like pointed? Or are they just round walls and just lots of round pods joined together? Wow. Oh, I'm going to have to look. I'm going to have to look. I'll, I'll be asking a million questions on this Dell Tech. They can go over, up and over 3,000 square feet. Dell Tech. Wow. Dell Tech International Images. Let me go to images. Oh, no, it's coming up with something completely different. Dell Tech. Homes, homes, North Carolina. Let me have a look. Images. Oh, uh. oh, oh. What? Pecky. What? 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 Tell me. Tell oh. me. Uh, they're lovely. <laughs> okay, then I know enough. I think. Oh my oh, gosh. They're lovely. Oh, look at that one in the middle of the trees. Oh, it's like a tree house, but it's lovely. Oh, yeah, I can see. I can see that now. Oh. Amazing. Beautiful. I like the forests ones, but there's a really nice one uh, that looks like uh, by the sea as well, so you can get the sea. Yeah, but North, North Carolina is not on the sea, I think. Round living. Hmm. That's an interesting concept, isn't it? Having a round room. Okay, when are we going to move, Ben? Oh, I don't know. I think Becky's going to have to make sure they get some extra rooms built onto this Dell Tech home. An annex. An artist's annex. <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> yeah, must be, be, be uh, Becky. And, um,. Okay, I lost my question. I need a zip. Can I clean that one up? It's too dark for my feeling. Pull the color off. This is what I'm learning with this um, watercolor business. You can pull it off with a little wet brush. I know. Or a little, I don't know how you do it, actually. Well, if you watch the camera, you can see how I do it. But um, this paper is not like my other paper. It's uh, thinner. Yeah. And um, the lifting is not that great. Whoa. So what's on the menu today, Becky? What are you up to, you and Scott? Still home renovating thing. Ah, did you finish your uh, old house? They're working on it, dear. You need Still. to see the video. No, I, I haven't been able to see many videos this week or in the last few weeks, actually. 
trying to catch up with everything and everybody. Well, it doesn't always work out, sadly. Crap, myrtle trees. Oh yeah, you talked about it in your video. Oh, they wouldn't be happy if you would do that here on a Sunday. <laughs> Debris in our pool. Okay, go then, quickly. Ah. Oh, she's a meanie, isn't she, that neighbor? There. Let it dry. Okay. Well, I think when I see all your work, Becky, from you and from Scott, and then move out, oh man, I would be like crying all that work and then sell it, you know? Yeah. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, oh well. After all that work, I don't think I'd want to move out. No. There's so much work to do. How's the sound, by the way, Becky? Are you still here? Is the sound a little bit okay? Ooh, this is a card. Oh, it's a... Yeah, I bet your house was absolutely glorious when you finished it. I honestly wouldn't want to move out. It's fine. See ya! Good luck See with the later, garden! Becky. Bye! Bye, Auntie! Take care! Go slow with your back and shit! Oh man, I couldn't do that at the moment, you know? Well, I'm just trying to help my son decorate his room and it's like, I can't... I can't keep up with it now. You're too old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in years gone by, I would have been in there and finished it. Now it's gone. This is like the fifth week, and he's he's gone and got himself a new girlfriend. So that that slowed down the whole process. Mm -hmm. So it's supposed to be doing his bedroom over the weekends, and no, that's not happening, is it now? No, I know not. Of course not. Girlfriend. <laughs> no, of course not. Huh? Of course not. No. Girlfriend is way more no, important than just, his room. It's a mess. It's still a mess. <sighs> Children. You love them. Yeah. <laughs> Head in the neck, but you can't help but like them. They are blood of my blood. Oh, back to Game of Thrones. Oh my god, there we go again. Blood of my blood. Oh. Jason. <laughs> Momoa. Oh. I need to see that movie. Even if it's cheesy, I need to see it. To Jason Momoa thoughts again. It's getting bloody warm here. Jeez. Yeah. Quite like that, so I think I'm going to glue that down. What are you working on? Well, I I had a well. <laughs> as you know, yeah, probably not. The local but... art shop this week. Oh, there we go again. Has yeah. had an art sale, and I went off and bought some stuff that I don't have, mm. which was some schminky. Mm. Sminkle, 
Was it called, Linda? Schminka. 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 Schminky watercolors. Schminky, schminka. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And uh, some oil pastels, which I've never tried before as well. Yeah. Because I've seen other people use, oh, oil pastels. Yeah, I'm going to get some of those. Mm. Um, I didn't have those. And they were in the sale. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought, well, I'll, I'll come home with those. So uh, that's what, exactly what I did. I went off and bought all these nice things. Yeah. And tried to have a go at watercoloring and learning how to do watercoloring because that's not really my thing is watercoloring like you. No, I, I just haven't practiced it. I find it difficult. Mm. And uh, never kind of uh, progressed with it, so yeah. to speak. So um, my whole week has been, well, since I bought the, the new stuff, I've been trying to do the watercolor. But... That hasn't really worked. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still not sure I like watercolour. So this weekend I, I decided to go back to something that was working for me, which was the sort of uh, textile art style. And yeah. um, but I'm incorporating a watercolour -y look in the textile art. Oh. <clears throat> So that's where I'm at, and I'm making these uh, very vibrant book pages with this watercolory stuff. I'm using ink tents, I'm using watercolors, I'm using spray inks. And that's working all together. Well, yeah, I'm making it work together. Ah, what? You're making it working? Yeah, making it work. Oh. Okay. Uh, I think probably because I'm using color palettes that work to, you know, that are similar, colors that are similar, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So it can't help but work, really. And I'm not stressing myself over it. There's no focal point. I think what I might add is words or quotes or or proverbs or something to it. Yeah, why not? They're kind of textile backgrounds more than anything. But I really like them. Cool. Well, not really like them, but, you know, like them enough. And um, they're interesting, really interesting backgrounds with textiles. Hmm. Sounds intriguing. And then I'm g I've done them all on little individual cards. Yeah. And the idea then is I'm going to somehow find a way of binding it all together. Oh my. And making a little book from them. Oh. So it's very mixed media. Very mixed media, but it's um, <clears throat> based on textile predominantly. You'll see the textile yeah, yeah. on every page uh -huh. nice and thick and chunky in some parts and flat and serene in others and baby wipes have been my best companion because I'm using those in my textile art uh -huh. as paper or pages or tech or fabric you know? Yeah. Hmm. And they work really well, baby wipes. Cool. Because when you stretch and pull them, you get this kind of like, almost like felting. Do you know that felting technique? Yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah, I did see so them make really nice little mouse with felting technique. You get that kind of felting on the page syndrome thing going on. Syndrome? Yeah. <laughs> felting syndrome. But felting syndrome? Yeah. I've never heard of a felting syndrome. Yeah, it's new. It's new. Oh, it's, new. it's new. <laughs> <laughs> I have a felting, felting syndrome. syndrome. <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah, I'm really um, enjoying that at the minute. Cool. Felting syndrome. 
And it's working really well. Well, one day you need to show me your Felding Syndrome. Yes, I shall. Cool. Are you keep watching on the chat, by the way? Oh, there's one. Is oh. that me? No. Hi, one person. See, that's how interesting we are, Pin. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. Well, not interesting at all. No. But we are here and we are doing what we're doing, so that's it. That's all I like to say about that. How do you like my lavenders? Hmm, let me get you on big screen. Hmm. Mm. Can you pull me up to the camera a bit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's cute. Cute? Although cute. you wouldn't have the... In honesty, you wouldn't yeah. have the lavender buds right that low. This one? You, yeah, you wouldn't have them that low. Because lavender oh. grows tall. Yeah, but they broke off. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, every artist has this explanation. Mine is broken off. I don't know. I'm just drawing from my feeling. Uh, I don't know. It probably is totally wrong. Intuitive, um, that's called. Right, I couldn't find the word. Thank you. Intuitive. It's just a little bit of intuitive painting. <clears throat> Should I try my new grey? Oh, see, I've got something here. How are you going to do the background, though? Or right. are you not going to do a background? No. It's a little bit too bluish. Mm. A little bit of a GPI in it. No. I have a blunt scissor syndrome as well. A what? Blunt scissors. Oh yeah. Sometimes I'm liking you that. Have... I only just bought these scissors like a couple of weeks ago, and they're already blunt. Mm. Mind you, that's from the pound shop. So what do you expect? Nothing. That's why I've got my Timmy Holt scissor. I don't like the blunt scissor syndrome. But then I could buy five blunt, blunt scissor syndromes. Yeah, but you need to go every time to the cheapy store. Oh, I like going to the cheapy store though, that's the problem. Mm. There's always something in that And you store. don't go out with only scissors, because if your scissors were at the end, you would go in for scissors and you come out with a load of crap that you don't really need. I know, but isn't that just lovely when no. you come out with all that crap that you don't really want? No. <laughs> No. I think it is. No. Because at the end, the scissor is very expensive, you know. Yeah. Well, it's only a pound from the pound shop. Yeah, and all the 50 pound that you took with it. Well, I don't spend 50 pounds. I never spend 50 pounds in a pound shop. No, me neither. But, you know, sometimes it's... Uh, all the stuff that you oh I need, I need a pair of socks and I want that in the kitchen and yeah you, your lame excuse ever I got a stain I over know here. what you mean I don't want a stain over there oh well it's a part of the painting <coughs> what the hell
Oh, really curling up. Whew. Oh la la. What? It's uh, oh, nothing really. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say ooh la la. Oh, ooh la la. Come on, so I can't thingy on it if it's so big. You can't thingy on it? Yeah, I'm marking marker thingy on it. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, you want to go in with markers? Yes. Don't you think? Oh, yeah, that would look nice with markers around it. Yeah. And if not, then not, you know. And I think this one will go in my witch journal. For the fun of it. Like um, herbs and preparations to use in witchcraft. Yeah. Does that make any sense? No. <laughs> yes, it does. I just like it. Why is it not writing? Doing a heat heat thingy. Yeah. Miss Noisy. Did I, did I mention Jason Momoa already today? Yes, I did. What? <laughs> Just shooting the breeze with chit chat. And Jason Momoa. Who? What? Don't worry, Lindy. Okay. Oh wait, the guy from Game of Thrones. Ding dong. What? Oh yeah. Hmm. Oh. Are you still dreaming about him? Yeah. Why? Because he's lovely. Mm. I can hear myself again. What did you do? Nothing. You turned me up. Can't you turned me, you turn me up. No. You did yes, you did yes. I didn't. No. Oh, for fuck's sake. I think you're just super sensitive. No, I can hear myself in my headset. Yeah, that's just like being extra super sensitive. Oh. So I haven't turned any settings up or down. Okay. I think it just picks up sound, doesn't it? I need a thinner marker. Uh, paper and pastel then. Uh, fine, fine. Uh, and one more word is totally in the small sheet. Needing jeez. Can't you find the fine one? No. Uh, see the last one. I always got that. <coughs> it's so annoying. When I find something, it's on the bottom of the stick. It's like. Yeah, I have that problem. <sighs> I know exactly what you mean. That's a case that you've got too many. 
Yeah, probably. Oh, I need to sit up straight for a second here. Ow. Bloody back. Well, you know the Alexandra Palace craft show that I went to the other week? Yeah. Well, they've got a stitching and sewing one coming up. Are you going? Yeah, I think I might. Because hmm. I'm into the fabrics and textiles and things at the moment. Yeah. So I might actually, if I can save up enough money. Um, but what would you I buy? I might actually take a look at that one. I've no, not been to that. And it's another kind of popular thing, I believe. Yeah, but what, but are, you, are you sure? Because them. I've got a feeling they doing sewing, sewing, sewing machines, you know, machines and yarns and fabric maybe yeah well i use all that stuff hmm. and fabrics yes so if they've got some really nice fabrics that i would like to buy that would be good oh hmm. yeah maybe it's a shame that you don't know anybody, anybody who has been there you know yeah. Not of your co-workers go there or? I don't think so. I don't know. No idea. You never talk to talk about that kind of stuff. Not really. Hmm. When I'm at work, I'm at work, so we talk about work. Yeah, but you got a break, a coffee break or something, or? Yeah, no, I've never. Ask that question. Hmm. Okay. I'm just outlining this a little bit with an um, extra small marker. Since my micron died on me. Oh no. Yeah, it's empty. <laughs> oh. This one is, I, for my feeling, it's a little bit thicker, but I'm not sure. Right. And I'm waiting for my uh, for my watercolor palette from AliExpress. Yeah. And I think this week I will get the rings for the witch journal. The rings? Yeah. Didn't I tell you I've got a plan to um, to um, do you remember that I made the bone finger bones, right? Yeah. Well, one of those finger bones get a ring. Oh, so like finger rings? Yeah. Okay. Because she's collecting stuff from her victims, right? Yeah. So that one has a, uh, has a ring on the, on the skeleton finger. I thought that would be creepy. Oh, yeah, for sure.
Okay. I think... I think I need to uh, excuse myself and go to the ladies' bathroom. Ladies? You've got a special ladies' bathroom. <laughs> I've got a ladies' bathroom, yes. Okay. Your, your excuse. <laughs> <laughs> excuse me one moment. Uh, quick. <laughs> oh my gosh. A little bit of touch up here and there. Yes. I'm back, Lindy. Hi. And the world? In the world, there's only one person. He's probably napping. <laughs> Working space clean. I'm having a oh, look at with that. The water oil thingies. Holy crap. I only used a draw. I think I have to blend those. Right, what do I do? What do I do? What's the best thing to do with this? <clears throat> Find a nice brush. Maybe a softy one. Oh. Oh, my brushes have all gone horrible. That one might work. Have a go with that. And um, I'm calling this one done, Penny. Oh, Let getting me... big. Hang on. Let me have a look. Oh, cuteness. I think oh. you need words on that. On the little tag, there's lavender on it. Can you see it? I was thinking about a white gel pen in the flowers, but I'm not sure. Maybe, yeah, actually I would. A little highlight here and there. Maybe.
Mm. Ah, I smooched. Pinny got a smooch here. It's Minnie the smooch, huh? I'm smooch here. Oh no. Yeah. I didn't dry it. Stupid me. Can I fix that? Not really. <laughs> oh crap. Maybe she'll get a little bit longer. Right. It sounds like a like a fire. Yeah, you know what that is. That's a Spray bottle that's supposed to be spraying, but it's coming out like a a jet. Hmm. It's all, all clogged up. I want to have some candy. Mm. Do you want one? Oh, I'd love one. What's that? Oh, they look nice. Yogurt. What is that? Show me on your hand. Oh, they look gorgeous. I could stick it on a page. <laughs> it's candy, my dear. Oh, like a jelly sweet. Mm. Here, have oh. one. Have one. <laughs> it's, um, I have those here. Yogurt bouquet here. Yogurt bouquet. Bouquet, yes. Bouquet, jo yogurt bouquet. Mix of six bouquet. tropical fruit flavors. And oh. it's sticking on your teeth like hell. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Oh, oh, um. Can you see that? I love veggie. Hello. Vegetarian sweet. No gelatin. No. But you don't taste it at all because I didn't see it. I was like, no veggie, what, what? <laughs> Oh, they're not coming off, for fuck's sake. It sounds nice, those sweets. We I don't, don't have those. Pot. I'm sure, I haven't seen those. Okay, I'm done, Penny. Oh, my lovely. I don't like the pot. What? Yeah, you know what? I would have done the pot as a silver pot. Yeah, but it's the difference between you and me. Yeah. Hmm. Silvery grey, grey, you know, that's the sort of tones. But this, this paper is really thin. can work with it, it's not going through or anything of that, but... Well, you can back it with a piece of thick card, can't yeah. you, so it all sticks down nice and hard. You don't get that kind of puckering. And maybe Simple, I will cut it, cut it off like this and round corner it and stick it on... Some Stick it onto another tag. Yeah, black cardstock maybe. Yeah. But I, to be honest, I it's, I don't like the pot. It's crooked and weird and. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I can see what you're saying. The flowers are kind of okayish. But to be honest, it will probably end up in the trash. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that. Oh, well, I think it then, okay? <laughs> That's terrible. Why? Because I, I got a lot, of, got a lot of stuff that I don't like and I just tossed it out. It's like, okay, it, it didn't work out. And here I was fiddling with, uh, with, my, new, with my new watercolors. Kind of cool, huh? Like a little kaleidoscope. Yeah, I'm just testing it out and the paper. And I've got other paper that I'm going to test out today. 
Because this is the same the same cardstock. I got the other one. Did I show you? No, I didn't. Then. I don't know. No, I don't. You got something new? <laughs> Again? Oh. Shut it. See? <laughs> this is this. Block. Om te schelling. What? Om te schelling. It's Dutch. Oh. And Did it's. Work out okay. I don't know. Yeah, didn't didn't use it. It's oh, um, 24 by 30 centimeters. That's nine and a half by 11.75 inch. 300 GSM or whatever it's called. 300 grams for skinny four centimeters. 140 lbs. It's acid free and that is it. That is that is it. It's, it's hot pressed. So that looks like. Nice and flat. Yeah, well, I need to. It's brand new, you know, so I need to get the thingy. Ooh, you're gonna have to paint something with that girl. Watch. Hey, Shelly! Hello! See, this is the, the smoothness of the, of the paper. It's a block, and you separate yeah. the block by. Has it got all those joined up edges? Yes, it's glue around the whole block. I need something like that. And what What's oh, here. that called here. when you're buying it then? Block. Block. I, I, you can't see it, I think, but here is a little bit opening. There's no glue. You stick your pellet knife under it, yeah. and then you go around, and then it will come off. I think I need that. Maybe. Shall I try something? Ooh. How many? Go back to the lavenders. No, I want to do something different. Oh, okay. What shall I do? Ooh. Oh, I know. I don't know. I know, very helpful. <laughs> How are you, Shelly? Um, you don't have to type, my dear. We are doing good. What if I'm going to test it? Stress test it. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I want to know. Good plan. Ta da! Oof, this is going to be a wet on wet. Yes. A wet on wet technique. See, I'm learning. I'm learning. Well, glad you learned something from me. <laughs> Always. Oh, la la la. Oh, it goes nice so far. Well, no warping. Yeah, of course, you always got a little bit of warping. I always, can't, I just can't do the watercolor thing. I get like a road surface that's been in a hurricane. A road kill. Yeah, I just like bobbly warped and oh, it's had an earthquake. My paper, I can't, I can't work with it. It's just drives me mad all that warping and then all the water pools in the big warp holes and <laughs> oh, oh. too much my dear well i can't do the watercolor and i put too much pigment on thinking it's not going to show up and then when it dries it's all really really dark and not nice and light and fluffy and uh, it's really hard yeah. watercolor is really hard Mm, this one is pretty heavy. Ooh. Cleaning my brushes. Uh huh. Mm. 
Well, just change it up. That's the good part of it. Is it nice and flat still? Yeah. Wow. And that's because there's glue around the whole block. Doesn't it not just do a big warp in the middle then, like a big dome, like mine did? No. When I sort of taped it down. No, this is mine's the same. Mine's coming out of GSM and it's, it, it just made a big dome. I'll still tape the edges to keep it on, the, on a flat surface and it's just like big dome created. It's oh. rubbish paper. Well, maybe. I can't say it's rubbish, but it's different. Well, it is. It's, it's wow, 300 it's different. G GSM, or what they call it. Yeah, Water but you need to glue paper. it down. You need to glue it down on like I a... did, I did. What, glue the whole sheet? Yeah, around all the whole, the whole thing. I had to glue the edges down. No, the whole... The sellotape. You need to go around it, like... Are you watching? Like around the block. Yeah. I sellotaped it to my table. It's still warping. And it still warped like a dome in the middle. Oh. Huh? It's awful. Well, I got Difficult. a little bit warping here. Can you see it? A little. Yeah. And you've used a lot of wet though, haven't you? Not that awful much. It looks quite wet to me. It is still wet. <laughs> yeah, here it goes up. The, the paint goes a little bit inside, I think. But overall, oh, pretty nifty. Let's dry it. Let's see what's going to happen. Yeah, will it all kind of Constantino if you dry it? <laughs> no. Like, get lots of wrinkles and binkles and so on and so forth. Well, you no, should you shouldn't color. dry it's you should hard. you shouldn't dry watercolor to be honest. But um, really, you no, know, you need to dry let it dry by nature. Really? Yeah. Who's got that sort of time? Yeah, but I go way up. It's like a hot summer breeze, and not really like you do going. No, you can't do that. Oh, maybe I'm, that's another thing I'm probably doing wrong. But who's got time and all the time in the world to let it dry overnight and then come back to it? I'm bored by the time I come back to things. That's a problem. Yeah. Oh, well, if you don't dry it like it's uh, in a washing powder, you can do it. It's getting nice dry, it's not popping up. Yeah, paper's quite good, isn't it? Yeah. Better than what I've got. Okay, cool. Now I want to try if I can lift a little bit. Not that anybody can buy the Schelling watercolor paper. From the American girls, but you know. <laughs> okay, making it wet. Yeah. Let it lay down for a bit so it can soak a little bit in. Right, right. Uh -huh. And then. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is it working? No. Maybe a little, a little spot. A little bit longer. This is really yellow. Can you see that? Yeah. Can the camera see it now? I take this spot. Oh crap! What's she done? I didn't clean the brush. A uh, little bit water on it. I don't see that one. What's happening? 
Oh. It's taking it off. Not really. Lightly. Really lightly. Maybe this part is a little up and should make a little bit of a darker spot. Um, let's go in with this one. That's a nice color. Mm -hmm. I'm just fiddling here, not not making anything. Maybe I will do something with it, but... Okay. Now, let's see, this is a dark spot. Put some water on it. I'm wondering... No. Not really. Jeez, my Hana. What, the, what was it? Hunchen uh, table. Hunchen. Who? Is doing a great job. Who is? The, uh, oh yeah, there we go. It needs to be longer on. Jeez, that's long. It needs to be longer on the paper. You didn't leave it long enough. Yeah, I think per paper that's different. <coughs> because if you're making clouds the way I do it, I make it blue. And then yeah. just go in and dab off, and then you get the white of the paper back. Yeah. And with my other paper, the 400 grams, it's like putting it up, a little bit of clean water on top of it, and wait, and then dab it, get it off, you know? But this one is just a little bit different. Okay, let's, now let's wait a bit. It's too hard to wear it today. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Okay, there we go. Yeah. It's bright and sunny in London. Can you see it? Probably not. Well, my camera isn't as good as the general yeah. public's. I know. So I'm missing Let's do the finer green one. details. Let's do a real bright green one. That burns your eyes off. <laughs> no. Psychedelic. It's not bright green. It looks a like dull green in this end. No, it's not. Hmm. Right. What I'm yeah. doing, going in, can you see it now? Yes. Oh, that's working. With a little bit more feeling, you can make nice clouds. But I don't want to have clouds. What more can I test on this paper? Mm. This is really green. Can you see that? Yes, I can see that. It's nice and bright green. Yeah. Like a bright lime green. Mm hmm. Those are nice colours together. Is that rose madder? Hmm? Is that the rose madder colour? I don't know. I got four of those kind of colours. I don't know. Could be. 
And I'm also mixing up here, so you know. Mm -hmm. So you're making a background? Kind of, yeah. I don't know what to do with it, but you know. And sometimes I hit something like this and I go in and just make up my palette colors, like what? I like those colors together. No, that's not a nice color. What's that resist part? Hmm? There seems to be some sort of resist part, or is that just not where you've put the water? Resist part? What do you mean by resist? On the right hand side. Here? No, up. Uh, down? Yeah, that, that white... There's a white opening in the... Oh, I can't tell you. There. Don't worry. No, up, up just above it. Yeah, above it. A white. <laughs> ah, don't oh. forget it. Doesn't matter. <laughs> don't let me carry on. Yeah, it seems to be resisting when you paint over it. No. That's what you yeah. get if you don't have pants. Damn it. Did you put something on the paper to resist? No. Okay. There seems to be a resist. No, there is not. But maybe you see it like that on the camera? I don't know. I think this is the rose matter. I'm not sure. It doesn't say on the bottom, I think. No, I didn't put anything. I wanted to do it, but I didn't. It's magenta. Oh my goodness, this is taking ages to dry. There's a little piece that I did this morning. Mm -hmm. The fabric and glue. Mm -hmm. A lot of glue. Watery down glue, like that. And I did it, what? Oh, it must have been about 7 o'clock this morning, 8 o'clock. Mm. And it's still damp. And I've heated it with my heat gun, and it's still damp. Wow. Well. And you need to wait. Oh, I can't wait any longer. What do you want to? What do you want to do about it? I just want it to be dry. Yeah, but what if it's? it's yeah, okay. Okay, that was really playful. Wee. It goes a little bit to the borders. Oh crap. I think I might do some inky stampy things on the fabric. Hmm. See now it start the paper starts a little bit to crumble or something. See, there is a resist. No, that's not a resist, that's a resolving. The, no, paper, the paper is getting there is pilling. A, there is a thing on the side, on the right hand side, which is resisting the paint. Yes, where your finger was. Maybe hmm. it's. Oh, do you know what? Now you've moved the page up and down. I think it's glare. Oh. I think it's a glare on the camera. Oh, glare. Yes. Yes, ah. it is. That's exactly what it is. It's a glare on the camera. Ah. It's like, every time you went over it, I was thinking, why is it resisting the paint? And it's not. It's a glare. Oh. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah, it's weird. It's picking that, that spot up like a real strong highlight. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Must be one of those dips in the paper. No, it's a lamp. I think now it's gone. Maybe. Yes, the lamp is creating a dip in the paper. Can you still see it? Because the sun uh, is... No. It depends where you put your heat gun under 
Sometimes I see it, sometimes I don't. And that's when you're moving your heat gun around the page. But maybe now it's too dark for videoing. I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of darkish now. I see the YouTube video much clearer than I do the uh, Skype video. Well, any news, this was me videos. stress testing, guys. I'm going to see the nice gradient thing. Oh, hello, Mary Ellen. Hey, Mary Ellen. <laughs> Hi. I think you need to put something over the top of that next, Lindy. Well, that's nice. It's nice and cloudy. I I think a floral thing would go really nice on that. What do you mean, floral thing? Like flower heads. Flower? Water I've never done a flowers. flower. Yeah. I've never done it. I'm not going to do that. Why? I can't. Yes, you can. No. Why? <laughs> because I can't. Well, how will you know if you never try? What are you going to do with that background now you've got I it? I don't know. I told you this was for stress testing. Well, use it. It's nice. Yeah, I'm going to use it. It's harder to see where it's still wet. How's life, Mary Ellen Weber? could draw a big smiley on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, just add see more. that big pink bit? Yeah. Can't you make that into one giant flower head? By doing lots of different layering. How much and... wine do you, did you drink today? Oh, well that's what I'm seeing. <laughs> like a big flower head. I need a glass of wine. I don't see it. <laughs> oh, poor old Mary. Oh, to work on Sunday. Just want to go to work. Oh, in man. A, in an hour. Ugh. Oh, God, girl. I think I need more light for the oh, video. Oh, feel so sorry we... for you right now. That's the last thing I would want to do right now is go to work. I've got to go tomorrow, but ugh. I'm dreading that as well. Every, every week gets more of a dread. Every week. I used to love working as well. Now I hate it. I've had enough. And I drink, I hide. Oh, yeah, I love that. Yeah. A great big flower, that pink bit. That's, I think you, you should transform that into a flower and then just build it up and build it up with pen and pencil techniques. You've got that lovely cool background going on and all that nice kind of... What do you call it? Bleeding. See, you're starting to make petal shapes. Okay, let me do first one. Uh, in red and blue. Maybe blue. With a touch of red in it. I would. Purple. Yeah, I would put a little bit of blue into that to blue put some and a purplish. shading in. Oh my god, I've never done to that give before. Some kind of like shading. I think kind of um, like lavender blue, like a lavenderish blue. Lavenderish blue. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to let you carry on with that and you're going to excuse me from the microphone. Why? For one moment. No, you, one moment. no I need an explanation. I have to walk out of the room. Oh. I dream, yeah, yeah, I'm trying to, Mary Ellen, it's, I don't know what I can do, I've never done it. Uh, a little bit purple in it, what the heck. Hmm. 
Oh yeah, I will. My sweater's pink. And these flowers from memory, I always had hydrangeas, we call them hortensias by the way. I always had hortensias in my gardens. Uh, but now I don't have a garden anymore and the funniest thing is that um, I did go on Google Maps and did look up my house. And I, would the plant, plant be still there? And yes, it is. The new buyers did uh, keep the keep my my, my hortensias. How cool is that? Um, I need more, of course. Uh, this one, right? Yeah, kind of. And this is hot pressed paper. I never done it on hot pressed paper. It's great for stamping, by the way. Well, that's what they say. I don't know. At least I look like a pro. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I wish. I've no clue what I'm doing. I wish I was a pro. I'm concentrating, I'm getting quiet. That's, that's why I need Pin. She's jib jibbing all around. Right, Pin? <laughs> Are you talking about me? Smacking me doors? That's Pin.
I am back. I've got a little oh. snack. Oh, what do you got for snacking? Well, I've got a little box of uh, garlic crackers. Ooh. They sound quite nice. Did you get that this morning at the groceries? Yeah. Oh. This one is nice. Well, oh. a really nice box which I can use in my artwork. Oh, you can use everything in your artwork, my dear. That's true. So true. Wow, I mean, your picture looks really different since I came back. Yeah, if you go to the store, or to get crackers, I mean. You don't like it? Probably not. I think I like the delicate touch a bit better. Well, well I did it, any use. But, yeah. It's all in the finished article, isn't it? Well, you know, it's um, it's just a piece of paper, and if I don't like it, it will probably end up in um, ATCs or whatever. Mhm. Mm oh, I'm not really bothered with it. Oh, I need a box. Penny, I need a box. Yeah, your paints are moving around. Yeah. Call the Chinese for me. Tell, tell him that he needs to hurry up with his box. Well, you can't rush the mail. Yeah. There's one thing you can't control. Oh, yeah, I can control it. If I pay a lot of Not money. Not really. For it. Yeah, I can. If I pay more money, I got it like two days later or so. But you know, that's not what I'm going to do. Because you're ordering at AliExpress to get it cheap, right? Mm hmm. And they can do an express delivery or something, whatever. But that's not going to happen. I'm never that desperate for art materials where I want to pay really a lot of post and packing. Well, I'm looking at AliExpress always for the free delivery. Mm hmm. Voila! That's a good idea. Mary says, pull out the ugly pans and put your nice ones in. Swap your pans around, pull out the ugly ones. Yeah, pull in the ones you don't use very often and put the ones you do. I, I got, this is all I got. No, the pans into your box. <clears throat> 
Oh, tin. no, I'm getting a tin uh, next week, I think. I know, but you can pull out the ugly ones. That you oh, I use. use them. I use them all. That's the thing. I uh, use them all. Okay. I don't have ugly ones. <laughs> no, I use them all. And they look like... Let me show you on camera. They look maybe really dark and you think, oh my gosh, what the hell is that? Well, they're really nice colors. Maybe I can show you a little bit like... This one is the purple. This one is the pink, green. So there is no really an ugly one. That's the thing. Oh no, it's fine. I can handle. I can deal with it. I can deal with it. I think. <laughs> ah! Did you see that? Oh my goodness. I need to be here, damn it. Now I need to go in there and make it pink. It happened. Oh, it happened. Oh, this could be a tulip. I'm, I'm going artistic now, Penny. This is a tulip. <laughs> oh, crap. You know, you got those artists, they're going to go in, they little in, and you think, what the fuck is that? That's a tulip. That is our new painting with the tulips. And you think, okay, is that a tulip? <laughs> well, I'm just, all those watercolor people amaze me. There's a few splodges here and there, and before you know it, oh my God, it looks fantastic. Mm-hmm. I know. It just makes me so, oh. Well, Jill, as they say in Essex. What? Well, Jill. Well, jealous. Very oh, well, jealous. Well, Jill. Well, Jill. That's what they say in Essex. Uh -huh. But I'm not in Essex, so I don't really need to. So, what are you talking about like then? <laughs> I think it's funny. Oh. Well, Jill. <clears throat> oh well sometimes it's not your day you know like this weekend it's like oh. holy crap i've had a week like not my day <laughs> a week really yeah. really yeah what happened what happened a whole week of not my day well certainly this weekend but then now that sunday's come Mm -hmm. And I have to go to work on Monday. I'm actually starting to make stuff that I actually like. It's and I always... Can work with. That's always the way. You know, I think it's that because I work all week and I don't have much time to art, you don't really get into your flow. Mm -hmm. It takes a couple of hours or a, or a day or so to just to get really into that flow again and get your mind back onto your projects and free up your headspace and mm -hmm. come up with something creative and all of those things which i don't have much time to do um because when you work full time it's like your art becomes uh well it has to be secondary really to your life and uh i i i don't like that but it's the way it is oh in about 20 years you are with pensions oh yay <laughs> <laughs> Yoo -hoo! Pension, here we come. It sounds promising. It's getting later and later that pension as well in Britain. Oh yeah, same year. Every year. Oh no, now you have to work till you're 195. <clears throat> yeah, I think this is not going anywhere, my they dear. They just can't wait for you to be dead so they don't have to pay it to you. Yeah. By the way, did you save it up yourself, or do you get it from the government? Well, well, everybody gets a little bit from their of state pension. Mm. Um, but I've got like um, a, a scheme thing that I pay. I pay a certain amount of money, and my company that I work for 
mm. pays the same amount. So it's half and half. Ah, same so as it's here. up to you. So if I paid five hundred pounds every month, mm. which I don't, can't afford five hundred pounds every month. But mm. if I did, my my company would have to pay five hundred pounds. So it's matching. They have to match it. Ah. Same as here, but they don't have to match it. I think I don't know. But I think these days the the new the new scheme is that everybody has to opt into the pension plan before it was completely discretionary you didn't have to do it now everybody does it automatically and you have to opt out and they take one percent of your earnings no. so one percent goes to your pension unless you opt out of doing the pension scheme they save that for you automatically and to be honest if i was earning money like that and I was a young school leaver or something I would do it one percent you don't know it's there or not really oh. well you kind of do but you know you can afford one percent yeah well depends depends if you if you really have a great salary yeah you can but is it already tight like oh my god I can hardly live from it then even one percent is too much yeah that's true but if you get used to it when you're living at home most kids live at home when they get their first job don't they mm -hmm. so if you kind of resign yourself to the fact that that's how much you take home you kind of resign yourself it's like to paying tax you have to pay tax you have to pay national insurance yeah get used to paying pension um, well, at the end of the day, it's going to help you out. And these days, excuse me, I'm half eating something. Yeah, that's very so rude. I'm, yeah, I'm so rude. Yeah, and you're rude. And these days, you can take out your pension early. Oh. I'm so tempted to do that. Don't do it. Well, I think I'll be dead before it matures. Yeah, but you keep saying it for years. It's bullshit. You're still here. So shut up. <clears throat> yeah, well, I've got a few years left yet, but I don't think I've got the full retirement years left. Why do you <clears throat> think that? Well, just my lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> you know my lifestyle. Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. So, you know. Sadly, I do. Yeah. I'm trying to keep you away from it, but it's a big failure. <laughs> so, you know, I think, well, I don't know if I'm going to make it to... What is it? And I don't even know what the pe the pension age is here these days. It's, it changes with, like, the wind. It's uh, something like 67 or something now. I don't know. I don't know how do I think I'll be alive by then? I've just yeah, I can't say that I, about my life either. I mean, I maybe, it. maybe I don't wake up in the morning. You never know. It's like you know. Yeah. Well. I keep thinking. Well, I doubt I'll be there at that time. Oh, well, same for me. Well, I think. Well, should I cash out the money now? <laughs> oh no! What? Enjoy it. Yeah, and then, get oh my god, I'm getting so old, get and then you don't have money. That's stupid. Stupid, Minnie, stupid. That's the risk you need to take. I don't want to take risks. I'm a sure thing, girl. Well, that's not true. I don't true. like taking risks. It's gambling. I don't like gambling. It's not gambling. It's just... You never know what life is going to give you, right? So... Maybe you're getting 80, or maybe you don't even reach your 60s, or whatever. You know? Well, my mother died at 63. Yeah, that doesn't say shit. That's years ago. Come on. By the time you're that age, um, uh, the medical stuff is so far that maybe the, you can't even die then. <laughs> I mean, yeah. They're like cryogen my body because it's so perfect. 
Oh, oh no, we have to have one of those bodies still. Yeah, you can order a body, like, you know. Hmm. Like, like one of those Japanese dolls. Yeah, you get some, some shit in your DNA and you live like 50 years long or whatever. Like robotic yourself, half, half human, half, yeah. half robot. Oh no, I don't think that's in our lifetime, darling. Well, you know, if you if you look around now, I think if you look back, like let's say fifty years, mm -hmm. and you would tell that person, well, you can get a new hip by a hip replacement. They put a metal pin in your bone, and you can walk. Mm -hmm. They would say, "Are you an idiot?" Right? Yeah. Or they plant in a little device in your body, and your your heart you can't get a heart attack anymore. Uh huh. So yeah, there's time, and we getting growing into it really slow. Yeah, but if I was twenty five or something, mm -hmm. I would say, yeah, you don't know what's going to happen by the time I'm sixty. But I'm approaching that age now. Mm -hmm. I'm not there yet, but I'm approaching that age now, and I don't see the medical advances speeding up that quickly. Wow. Well. Between then and now. I don't say that too hard. But yeah, I do understand you. It's like, yeah. This one is too big, I think. If I was 25, I'd be thinking, yeah, well, it's going to be all different. It's going to be robots. You're going to be half robotic. Half of your body is going to have an implant of some sort. Well, Make you know, this sounds maybe, maybe weird, but when I was a, chi a child, like... <laughs> Marianne says we're just kids. <clears throat> I'm 50-something, but I'm not 60. How, what about you, Mary Ellen? Are you a little bit older? A little bit younger? What the hell I'm doing? I don't know. I'm, and, you know, I'm walking around these days and I'm 50 something and it's like I get these aches and pains in my hips and joints and I'm thinking oh my god can I go on another 10 years like this yeah you get a hip replacement my dear <clears throat> good age Sixty-two. How old are you now, then? If I can, if I may ask, ma'am. <laughs> no, I'm not there yet. I don't know if I can. I don't know if my body's gonna last that long. Probably not. I've got so much stress at work and all of these things. I don't live that healthily. Well, you should. I know I should, but I don't. Why don't you do it then? I need to do something about it, but then I, I want to enjoy my life. Well, if you as want... As long as it's there. Yeah, no, not for long then anymore, right? If you go on like this. You will never see your grandchildren. No. Yeah. I know. You don't care. <laughs> of course I care. Well. But do you believe in the afterlife? Of course not. Do you believe in spirit world? No, you know I'm a full eight years. I don't believe in anything. <laughs> Not even like a spirit world? No, of course not. No. Get out. That was how old my mother was, Mary, when she died. Oh. She was a young woman. But she has the same lifestyle as you've got. Well, I think in many respects she might have been a little bit healthier. In some senses, 
But she, yes, she did smoke and she did drink alcohol. Didn't smoke very much, yeah. but she did. And she had done all her life. I don't ever recall her never stopping smoking. Oh. Well, I don't know. I don't know about all her life. She died of a heart attack. <clears throat> Very unexpected. Uh -huh. <clears throat> she had developed high blood pressure, um, which is something that wasn't, ex you know, she didn't expect because she didn't have problems before. And uh, she did develop it as, as she got a bit older. And then out of the blue, she just had this massive heart attack one evening and didn't recover. Mm. It was fatal. Mm. Yeah, so it was out of the blue for everybody because she was always generally in very good health. She wasn't ill. And now, you, like now Ill. you think that you will get the same? Yes. No, why? Yeah. I don't know. I think it's an hereditary. Well, then go to the doctor. Response. They can they can test it. Huh? Go to the doctor and they can test it for you. Oh yeah. Every time I go to the doctor and they do my blood pressure, it's like, oh, your blood pressure is really good. Okay. <laughs> like, okay then. I just carry on as I'm doing. Oh, that's stupid. <laughs> <sighs> okay, I just carry on being me. <laughs> Lulled you into false sense of security. What the fuck is this, Penny? I don't know. It's getting there, though. <laughs> no. I think once you put the pen on it, it might work uh, out. Oh, no. Genetics and luck. I totally agree with Mary Ellen. Genetics and luck. Well, I'm in a genetic pool, and that pool doesn't look nice. You've got you've got a weird old genetic pool you have, <laughs> darling. Yeah, mine's totally broken and kaput. <clears throat> hmm. Maybe it's more blue or something or green. I don't know. It was a test page pin. It was not meant to be <laughs> become a painting. It will end up in ATCs. I'm pretty sure. So you know, you just like. Oh, just go along and just make it whatever. Decorate it, whatever, and then cut it up into little ATCs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? Why not? Really I can do it. Why not? I did call you no inches, play. Even inches. Inches. Can you inches? Oh, you're horrible. Inches. You're horrible, inches. Oh, inches. Well, oh, I mean inches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I don't know what I'm doing, really, guys. I have no clue. But, uh, yeah. I think I'd work the dark off color from the inside and rather than the outside. Yeah, that's you. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. That's just me. Uh, oh, my goodness. I have no clue what I'm doing, Pink. Come on. Kidding blurry memories la 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 Oh guys this is only a bottle of wine. She she she's not she's not in a common sense today. <laughs> Normally she's ever. pretty normal. She's pretty normal. Pretty normal for me. No, I don't know that's also true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but we are nasty. People are thinking that, oh, they, those two hate each other. I think I'm going to call it, call, I quite like going into <laughs> show songs <laughs> these days, don't I? Everything reminds me of a, sh uh, of a sh song. Yeah. I can't help bursting out into it. Oh, I wish this would dry.
Yeah, I see you rocking it. Yeah. <clears throat> I see your turtle in it. A turtle? A turtle. A turtle. You see a turtle? I see a turtle in it. I'm, I see what you mean, actually. Yeah. I can see that too, like shell pieces yeah. on a turtle. Yeah. That might work out really well. <laughs> oh my goodness. You need a big splodge in the middle then, like a big. Yeah, I, I had I had the idea. Turtle. I had the idea to fill the the caps up with black. I don't know why, it's, you know, gut feeling. I just fill it up with black. Fill it up with black? Yeah. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. All the air crevices. Yeah. Or maybe not. What happened to the tulip? It's still there. <laughs> <laughs> it's waiting to grow. <laughs> oh my gosh! You planted a seed; it will grow. I could keep it in like so, like a neck, and then <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> neck so to the turtle, and then under I didn't fit on the page. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Whoa! Oh. oh man! I really like oh. this color, to be honest. The pain, the joy of being an artist. <laughs> <laughs> an artist. We are not crazy, Mary Ellen. We are just crazy. We are. We are. <laughs> <laughs> <Bananas. sighs> well, there's nothing sane in this world. Okay, I'll do just a little bit more green because I like it. Okay. All right, just because you like it, I'll let you do it. Okay, and I close it up because I'm going to make it black. Mm-hmm. Just, I don't know. What colors did I use? Damn it, this one. Ooh, that's really tense. You need a ninja turtle head. No, it's not becoming a turtle, my dear. Wasn't there one of the turtles called Raphael? And wasn't Raphael an yeah. artist? It kind of all comes back in a big full circle. Oh, I get a flashback. I'm Raphael. Oh. I'm doing a self-portrait. Portray, whatever. Comes back in a big, weird comes full back. circle. It comes back. Now, I, did, now I, I hear you munching on something. I want to munch on something. Well, I had to get something. Yeah. Pick, picking at things. <coughs> so smorgasbord. What does a smorgasbord mean? Scoreboard. From yeah, from your interpretation. Scoreboard. No, smorgasbord. Oh, there's, there's bread. With the O, oh, with the O, oh, with the... Yeah. And put me down, I'm too loud, I can hear myself. No, you can't. Yes. Don't give me that rubbish. I've already put you down like three times. Your, your microphone must be picking it up. Well, what I hear... The, the... Extraordinary. Ask, ask so Mary Ellen. I'm, gonna... I'm echoing. I'm echoing. Huh? Oh, my God. I'm tilting the angle. I'm tilting the angle. So, small... Do, small... Smuggers board, or whatever it's called. Smuggers board. How do you say it, Linda? Sh I don't know. Smuggers board. Smuggers board. What's that? Has it the O like a diagonal diagonal stripe in it? What? The O. Has it a stripe in it? Oh, you're talking about the lettering. Yeah. You really confused me there. Yeah, but what does it mean? Cracker. 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 See, I'm we are echoing a little bit. And that's you, Penny. No, it's you. I'm it's wearing you. a headset. I'm wearing a headset. I ca it can't be me. <clears throat> well, how can it be me? 
because you're listening to me on speaker. Well, I can't do anything about that. You have a headset, but yeah. Don't put the mic, the, the speaker's that loud. Oh. Right. Here we go then. Right. <laughs> okay, here we go then. <laughs> now it looks like a cauliflower. Right? Oh gosh, I can't hear you with my headphones on. And you need to plug it in. I have, I have. So you can hear me. Then you need to just put. I turn, I'm turning you up to maximum. Oh, to maximum. Are you sure you want to do that? Well, I thought that. Well, Mary Ellen, it's a buffet of assorted foods, a smorgasbord, not a piece of bread. But I'm going with the Dutchie because the Dutchie's from Dutch. So I thought she would know more than anybody else. The buffet. Oh. That's what I said, buffet of assorted food. That's okay. What I thought it was. Oh, then it's, then it's that. Then it must be. Must be. Jeez. Categorically, it's a piece of bread. I thought it me believing you. <laughs> And you're the one from Netherlands. Yeah, but it's not Dutch, it's Swedish. I think it's Swedish. Yes, it is. Oh. So you live next to next door. No. No, we do? live next door. They are like hours of flying up us. Well, three, four hours. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but it's all European Union stuff now, so you Oh you're my like god. Are, are we going on that forever? bicycle? <sighs> Do you like my cauliflower and my um my weird flower thing? I don't know what to do with this. It's coming along. I think you might actually be able to work with that with some pens. It's starting to come along. Are you kidding me? Well, I wouldn't give up hope. <laughs> I wouldn't give up hope. <laughs> I just want to kill you right now. I don't want to give him hope. It's totally a mess on a... On a... Well, that sounds bad. I don't mean it to sound bad. Well, it does sound bad. Oh, what should I say? What should I say? <laughs> I'm a little bit afraid when I go in with big marker, it will print through it. It's a little scary. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going in with um, Amy some paint is grey that will be fine I think. Let me see. That's what I thought it was, Mary Ellen, you see. Small I thought on. that's exactly what it was. A buffet offering a variety of hot and cold meat, salads and hors d'oeuvres. Oh yeah. Okay. And you didn't know that and you're all the way from there. <laughs> No. Yeah. No. <clears throat> I'm just doing it, Bill. I'm just doing it. I don't know. Shocking what you don't know about Europe. Well, <laughs> you're half Swedish, my dear, so you should know and not me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but you're nearer and I don't know my daddy. That's true. Well, in your blood. Those words aren't, no, they're kind of, they're kind of, uh, weird words. Smurgis, Brugis. Yeah, exactly. We don't have those words here. Like if you go to Ikea, did you see those videos from um, the guys who are having fun in the Ikea with the words? No. Oh my God, that's so funny. What's that then? Well, they go with the wife shopping and they don't really want to shop, you know? Yeah. So they're going to take a video camera to the IKEA. Yeah. And film the text, like. Uh, the table or something like that. Well, they make a. They, they take their fingers and they block off the icky or the ö, and then there is big dick on the, on the tag or something like And they're laughing like an idiot. 
and they're having so much fun with it. It's like you just don't need to see that those videos. Really fun. No, I haven't seen those videos. Swedish. I'm smooth with meaning sandwich and board means table. So it was a sandwich. Bread. Ah, I'm confused now, I don't know. Sandwich board is like a whole different thing of meats and and breads and things. It's a smorgasbord. Oh. So board is the table. Uh huh. I guess. I don't know. Oh Linda, I can't believe you don't know that. And you're in Dutch land. Yeah, there's another land, you know. First you got Denmark, and then you need to cross all Denmark, and on the right side is Sweden. Yeah, but Mary Ellen and I, we're miles away from it, and you're just next door. No, to be honest, I think you're closer than me. No. Mm, yes. Not true. Yes. Can't be true. Well, you should go Google Maps that. I don't know. I think I like this. Hmm. I think nobody can see what I'm doing. I think I'm out of frame, but you know, uh, bye, Mary. Oh, take care. Have a great bye. -bye. Afternoon. Or evening or morning. I don't I are. don't really do Instagram, I'm sorry. I already hate Facebook. <sighs> and you come up here and and I uh, totally totally great painting. <clears throat> Say something. No? Okay. Oh, no, I'm not saying anything. I think it looks better now you've got the shadowing going on. It's not shadowing, it's just filling in. Oh. If you don't like it, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I like it. Hurry up and try. Oh, it's not like two spoiled bread. I don't care. <laughs> I want it. I want a candy. No. I want a smorgasbord. <laughs> <laughs> she was Googling it. Uh huh. Googling. Well, I think I'm done for today with the live stream, my dear. All right, my darling. It was lovely with the two people that we've got over here. Wondering why I don't like to make videos anymore. Well, because of that. So I'm going to end it up. People's and pin. All right, big girl. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and bye. Bye, sweetie. Bye. See you later. bye.